Okay, setting up your Fujifilm camera to shoot portraits. Now, by the way, this may differ depending on which model Fujifilm you have, but take what you can from this video. And also in the comments below, check we have an awesome community. They can help you out with the camera that you have. Okay, step one on my lens, I always shoot wide open as much as I can. So uh, it's set to F2 on this 35 millimeter F2. Next, I shoot an aperture priority. So my shutter speed is on the red A. This means the camera will pick a shutter speed depending on the lighting conditions. However, I need to watch my shutter speed because I want all my portraits to be at least, depending on motion, at least a hundredth to two hundredth of a second. If someone's moving, definitely faster than that. I will then use my ISO. I actually, I know a lot of people like to use an auto ISO, but I actually like to control my ISO more than others, I think. So you can actually set an auto ISO that will have a range if you like. That will let the camera pick so you don't have to finagle your ISO. However, the way I shoot is this one is set, this one the camera picks, and this one I pick. The reason I want the lowest ISO is because I want the cleanest files to come into the camera. Okay, with my ISO set to 200, with this shoot pointing this out to the window, I'm getting a shutter speed of 200th of a second. But in darker conditions, you could see that now with an ISO of 200, the camera is showing me a 125th of a second shutter speed. That's way too slow for portraits and to make, making sure your subject is clear. So now I will boost up my ISO in order to get somewhere in the hundredth to two hundredth. And it's compromised. Right now it shows 1250 ISO, which is fine on this camera, and 125th of a second. I know that's fast enough for a portrait of someone standing there, so totally fine. Now if you have kids that are moving around, well then I'm shooting at F2. However, my ISO is gonna go up to stopping motion perhaps, 400th, 500th. But now look at my ISO, it's at one four thousandth of a second. This is if you're indoors and probably in a dark room. But if you have to get the portrait, it's always great to get it sharp instead of uh, worrying about having a clean file and the picture's blurry due to motion. So that's how I control exposure on the camera. To control focus, basically there's a couple of ways you can go about it and I've used different ways. But these cameras are great with face detection. So the first thing is I'm sure I make sure that my face detection is on. That way, as soon as we see a face, it will grab the face. Other defaults, I use a single point. I'm in single focus mode if I'm just taking a nice portrait. That way, if the camera doesn't see a face, I know I can pick up focus with this little piece of contrast. Now, if my subject or model starts to move, I will quickly switch over to a zone and I will switch the little switch in front of the camera. I'll switch that to C for continuous. I found this is the best way to focus on a subject that's moving and you wanna take portraits with someone coming at you. Now the drive mode I like to use for portraits is either continuous low or continuous high. Now why not just shoot single, one frame? Well, I find that people's expressions change so quickly and the, per the twinkle in someone's eye changes so fast that I like to grab a lot of frames and then pick my favorite. So continuous low I find is good enough to get little twinkles in the eye. Now F2 is great if you're photographing one person, but let's say you have three to five people. Well, this may be too shallow. You know, some people, were, their noses will be ahead of other people. So you need to sort of change your aperture to f4 or 5.6 or f8. This is what I think of when I wanna think of how much depth there is in the photograph. So three to five people will probably be 5.6 will be good enough, depending on my distance to the subjects. Now, since I changed the aperture and closed it down, that's gonna make the picture darker. What ends up happening is the camera, since it's set to aperture priority, will set a very slow shutter speed. problem with that is people move. So again, my hand is on ISO and I will change my ISO accordingly to get that speed up to 1 200th, 300th. Now the other way I focus and shoot with the camera if I'm going between portraits and other photographs is I'll actually turn the face detection off because I don't want the camera to always pick up a face if maybe I want to be photographing other things around people. 
And when I have face detection off, I shoot a little bit differently. What I do now is I actually switch the camera to manual focus mode. So on the front, I'll put it on M. And the reason I do that is because I actually have autofocus that is completely available to me full time using the back button focus. This, will, this button will not focus, but I can autofocus if I want to. But I also have the zooming and also the um, control of the lens. It just makes the experience of shooting with the camera a little bit more fun. You can fine tune your focus on objects. So if I'm shooting portraits and other stuff, I'll turn face detection off and go into this little mode. Now, what if your subject starts moving or you want to shoot them stationary? Um, well, in manual focus mode, none of your buttons are active as far as changing those modes. So you could do it in the menu, but what I do is I really quick, quickly switch my lens to continuous. I then will pick single focus mode and then switch right back to manual. It's, it's kind of become second nature. But in, in full-time manual mode, you can still change the uh, size of your focus point, which is great using the joystick. Again, it depends which camera you have. However, uh, so I can change this and also autofocus if I need to on something very tiny. Uh, and then we're ready to rock and roll that way. So that's how I shoot portraits using my Fujifilm camera. Check the comments below and also add your suggestions below because we have an awesome community here. All right, guys, see you next time.